I'm gonna find out what happens if you fill a bathtub with a whole bottle of bubble bath. What do you think, Junior? You know, I didn't actually plan on shooting today because I got a lot to catch up on, which I'll go through when we get home. But I looked at my whole list of things and they're all fun things that I get to do, but also things that I have to do, but also things that I want to do. So the first two things that I need to get from Walmart, a fake baby and a toilet brush. So yesterday I got a package come in from Aveeno and I've been trying to find a shampoo brand for the No Poo series on TikTok. Anyway, a couple of DMs, a couple of videos. I think I'm, I've put myself in a really good spot and this is actually a very good piece of practice for me to get myself in a mindset of, I don't have any control over the outcome of whether they choose to partner with me or not. I can just put myself in the right position to hopefully bring about a partnership. So they sent me a number of kids items yesterday, which you probably saw in the vlog. And I'm gonna make a video of using the whole bottle of kids bubble bath and seeing how well, I don't know, just what happens with the bubble bath. And so part of that is drowning a baby. <laughs> which is why I'm getting a fake baby, because I feel like that's gonna add to the video. And then the toilet brush is what I'm gonna use to mix up the bubble bath solution. Kind of like a silly thing for a video, but obviously I'm not gonna use a toilet brush that we have. So where are the fake babies? Here we are. He might be a bit small. You know what I think would be funny? Having a, like obviously showing Covey and then like me about to put him in the water, cutting, and then having a baby that I throw into the water. And I think it would be funny <laughs> to just do a different colored baby. But the problem is, like as much as I would find that funny, because this is like part a show of what I can do for the brand, I feel like that's a little bit over the line for them to be able to buy into. I think that would be hilarious though. But you can obviously see the connotations of someone being like, he's chosen to drown a black child. Like, oh, fuck off. All right, let's just get you. Yeah, you'll do, bud. Oh, you've got a nice seat as well. Now I need a toilet brush. Where art thou toilet brushes? So my wife, Shay, told me she was jealous of what I get to do for videos because she's a stay-at-home mom. Amazing decision, by the way, and I love the work she does for our kids. It is a lot of effort. But I told her, I'm like, I'm heading out for a minute. I'm going to go get some McDonald's and open up the Croc Happy Meals. And the kids were being kind of a nightmare at the time. I didn't realize it. Toilet brushes. Here we go. I... I just need the cheapest one. And then my plan here is to melt the top, put in a like a drill bit or something, melt a drill bit into it, and then that can attach to the drill and then I can use that to mix the water around. She's like, you just get to go out to McDonald's and do what you want. I know it's your work and I appreciate all of that. And she's like, I'm looking after the kids, which she loves doing by the way, but it is a lot of work. Anyone who doesn't think being a stay at home mom with more than one child isn't a lot of work, you don't know. Like that's simple, you just don't know. But it is absolutely wild that through making videos, I'm able to do these fun things to make a fun video out of it. And that's what we do for a living. That's how we pay our bills and that's how we enjoy life. That's mad, isn't it? Walmart job done. Let me show you the list of all the other things that I have to do today or I want to do today. Look who decided they want to be up at 6.30 in the morning, mister. Hey, you're gonna be a star today. You're gonna get drowned in bubbles. Um, should we go get breakfast for mummy? Should we go get breakfast? Okay, let's go. I have to move over the car seats in the car, but I'm not gonna film it. Pain in the ass with. With you, mister. You can jump in your seat. Oh yeah. Good job, Govies. And this one, please. Good boy. You wanna watch me? I know what you're thinking, like, uh, why don't you just take your wife's car if the seat was already in there? And the reason is because, well, two reasons. One, I don't want to open the garage because her and Rugi are sleeping upstairs. And because for some reason, my wife's car, it's a Hyundai Tucson. It makes this like ridiculous, like beeping noise, like a lorry when it reverses. So it wakes up the whole neighborhood. You ready to go, misters? We chilling, Mr. Jobies? We chilling? Good boy. <laughs> Mr. Misters, hi. Hello. Give me, that, give me that arm of your sausage. Oh yeah. So we all had a hideous night's sleep last night and Shay loves IHOP French toast. So that's exactly where we're going. Sorry dude, after you. Come on up. Okay, I appreciate it dude. Thank you. Have a good one. And there it is. Let's go home Mr. Chobies. Jump in your seat. Oh yeah. I got this question on TikTok of like, 
why do you not get as many views as you used to? So I thought I'd touch on that today because there is an absolute reason why and it's a conscious decision on my part. Yes, I need to go home. Pretend you just watched me write all of these because I forgot to record. You're a hot boy. Hi, misters. How was your walk with mummy? Good catch, Oliver. Yeah, daddy asked you not to touch it, didn't he? But then you touched it, so it's, you have to go to death now. I really like the idea of actually listing out my tasks and uh, what am I trying to say? Prioritizing them. So the SKC TikTok. Maybe I'll tell you what each of these are. Doesn't need to be done today. Doesn't need to be done today. I'd like to do today. So the Sporting KC Pro Experience vlog is the vlog I uploaded to YouTube today. Done. The Avino bubble bath. I'm gonna go and shoot that now, which is what the stuff was for. Then I want to do edit the McDonald's and Crocs video that I shot yesterday. And I want to edit the next vlog so I can upload on Saturday and Sunday because I'm like eight vlogs behind and I need to catch up. These three I won't even bother with. We'll just save those for, t for, for soon. <laughs> Let's go clean the bathtub. I don't have a cup up here. Govy's sleeping in there. So... That did not work as I had planned. Obviously, nowhere near hot enough. Let's drill a little bit of a hole in it. What am I doing? I could just do a screw, couldn't I? I don't know what screw that is. I'm gonna go for... I really want a full, like a good dad tool set. Well organized and everything. Oh goodness. Job done. I love, 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 love and hate this camera here, the DJI Action 2, I love and hate it so much. I love that it can fit almost anywhere and it's pretty, it's seriously good quality and super wide, but it overheats like nobody's business. You literally cannot use it in the summer. I'm gonna find out what happens if you fill a bathtub with a whole bottle of bubble bath. Well, that runs. Avino sent me some kid stuff yesterday and I'm not gonna put oh, my kids on camera. <laughs> my son loves opening packages and he slept with the bubble bath last night. Didn't drink it though, thankfully. It's got oat extract and meant to create big fluffy bubbles. I'll be honest, I haven't tried this before, so this isn't a promotion for it. Hang on a minute, I need a cup. I'm gonna save a bit so they can actually have a bath with it later. Yes, I made this <laughs> for this video. You can't even see it. Oh, oh dear enough water, but I've lost my toilet brush. Oh, okay, that's that. Test number one is, how well will a baby drown? All right, get your clothes off, lad. Are they stuck on? They are stuck on, so you're going in fully clothed. Will he get lost in the sauce? Well, he's a floater. Cover you up, bud. That's enough. Well, I'm a 33-year-old man in children's bubble bath. I use these bubbles to cover up my area. I caught it. <laughs> Honestly, there's not as many bubbles as I was expecting, but the quality of the bubbles seems really nice. Really light and fluffy. What do you think, Junior? <laughs> no wonder he was so cheap. There's no actual body to him. <laughs> He's just fluff in the middle with arms and legs and a head. Okay, that was fun to try and they'll enjoy a bath later. Still got the toilet brush in here. It was a clean toilet brush. Dude, this crackling is so satisfying. I like that a lot. I don't know if you're wondering why I wouldn't have the kids in here. It's because this is probably too much for their bodies to absorb. It's probably not good for me to have this much. So I'm gonna go and shower. Whoops. I meant to massage the pouch. Oh. I'll be massaging that thing. Might have a little bit too hot. How does it look like meat? That's crazy. I wasn't recording. What did you just say? So it looks good. 
it does actually look good. I don't understand how you get it to look like meat, but it looks a lot like meat, like the fibers and stuff. Yeah, like how is it fibrous like that? Is it really meat? No, it's all plant protein, so there's no meat, but it's got meat parts, so like the collagen. You wanna try some? Go on then. And see if Duda likes it. Duda. Like it? Oh, bussin. Ruby, no. don't. Like it. You don't like it? No. You just like the cheese at the moment, don't you? Well, we got to eat some. Okay. Ingredients. I'll just pause it for you to see. Okay, keeping it pretty simple, just cheese, lettuce, and the choppy carne asada. Carne asada. Not for you. It's the texture, it's a bit. I wonder if that's just the texture of more plant based stuff. Like if we're thinking about it as a meat, but it actually isn't a meat. Like maybe try and think about it as a different food. I do, I like, but it's easy to make. Like stick it in a pan, cook it for three to five minutes and you're done. Oh, interestingly, when I look up impossible ground beef, that's $9 a pound. So you're paying two, three dollars more for the seasoning and everything to have it ready and pouched to go. So that's actually, I think that's a lot better. All right, my thoughts. Taste, really good. You liked the taste too, didn't you? Texture, I didn't mind it. It was, when I'm thinking about meat, then I don't like the texture. But if I'm thinking about a food, I don't mind it. Preparation, like ease of preparation. But price, it's probably a bit more than I would pay for your average meal. So maybe it's a meal you have that's really just a, an easy meal to make instead of making a whole meal from scratch. And price-wise, I take it back a bit. It's not as expensive as I thought when you compare it to other plant-based foods, especially to have the meat parts in here, like the beef tallow, beef bone broth, and the beef collagen. If I were making meals for myself, I think I would buy this again, but as a family, I don't think we would because Shay doesn't like it. Boo, Shay! Oh, Joby's. I should add some context. We are meat eaters through and through. We would never choose plant-based protein, would we? No. Okay, all right, in terms of what we had to try and complete today, I've done the Avino bubble bath, the SKC vlog, the McDonald's Crocs video, the vlog for tomorrow, Saturday, and the vlog for the day after Sunday, since we're trying to catch up. But I'm pretty pleased with how those came out. Ta-da, good. I just wanted to just let you know where things went since that was kind of like a big part of the video.